Hey guys, this is another DVD update. Um, I uh, I am expect I was not, not gonna make this video, but then I literally, literally five minutes ago I I thought why not? I I do have a couple of things to show you. I might as well make this video now. Uh, I was gonna wait because I have a bunch of stuff on on or I mean I have ordered a bunch of stuff and there should arrive next week. But um, I'll just uh, get these out of the way, and so there are, and I'll make a pretty large unboxing video, hopefully next week. Um, so this is gonna be <clears throat> a sort of a Christmas gift update and a couple of purchase of pur purchases. Um, I'm gonna show you first what I got for Christmas from my dad. I already showed you Californication season four and Dexter season three, which I got from my mom. Um, and um, but then I was at my dad for the actual Christmas on the 24th and uh, then I got some stuff there too I got a lot of cool stuff that I wanted first Desperate Housewives season 7 uh, I think that if you're gonna sort of be able to enjoy this show then you gotta then you gotta be able to take some very unrealistic and pretty ridiculous and maybe even stupid things seriously <laughs> because there's a lot of things going on in this show which is just totally just it's ridiculous I mean it's yeah <laughs> but um, it is pretty well done I think and it's very entertaining very funny uh, I suppose a guilty pleasure for me um, I just really love this show uh, this I I'm th I'm thinking that maybe I like this season a bit more than season six. Let me just change my knees, or I mean <laughs> my position. Um, I am uh, currently at episode eighteen or nineteen or something. So um, yeah, I'm enjoying this a lot. Um, oops. Um, and then I got. Season 10 and 11 of Family Guy, or I should say volumes, because it's not, I don't think the 11th season is is out. I mean, I think they're at the 10th season, or maybe 11th now, but there's no way that season 11 would be, have been released on DVD, so it's, it's volumes, but they're called season, anyway. So yeah, very happy to get both of these. I am... Um, watching this right now actually this camera is not very steady on that's why it's wiggled uh, but uh, yeah I enjoy the show a lot I'm at season 10 right now so I can't say that much about or I can't say anything about season 11 and then finally or finally as for DVDs uh, oh yeah I got a blu-ray player for Christmas <laughs> um, Finally, for DVDs, is The Simpsons season 14. Very shiny, uh, very nice looking. Um, yeah, I think I've watched about half. I think actually, exactly half, because I've seen all of. I've seen these, but I'm gonna start there now. So um, yeah, I've I've seen um, at least half of the episodes before so far. Um, and then, as I said, I got a Blu-ray player. Let's see if I can show it. It's uh, it's on there. You, you probably mainly see the DVD player, but if you can tell, the, there's a Blu-ray player on top of it. And I don't know, maybe it's not so smart to put, the, put it on top of it, but I don't think it hurts the Blu-ray player. Maybe it hurts this DVD player, but I don't think I'm going to need this one anyway, because this one, you can obviously play DVDs on Blu-ray player, and I tried... A region 1 DVD on this and it actually worked so maybe I'm not gonna have to use this DVD region 3 DVD player which I got recently just to be able to play region 3 or region 1 DVDs so a bit of a waste I guess but um, I don't mind because it wasn't that expensive uh, so um, with the blu-ray player or not with it but my I got a couple of blu-rays as well I got the orphanage for my sister which I already have on DVD, but I've been wanting to rewatch it, so it was pretty good that I got it. Uh, and on Blu-ray too. I tried it, I tested the quality, 
so I, I will count this as my first Blu-ray, even though I got these three all at the same time. I did open this one first, so um, and the quality is very good. Um, I'm really happy to have a Blu-ray player finally. And then Shark Water and Earth. These were probably pretty cheap, but uh, it's sort of these little things to test your player with. Um, I don't know if these are that good as for quality, but um, this one is supposed to be like best of Planet Earth or something like that. So I already have seen Planet Earth, but it's it's nice to have this one too. Shark Water I don't know anything about, but it's about sharks I suppose. Haven't seen them yet. Um, and then I have um, three DVDs that I ordered. From Amazon uh, Marketplace. First is the apartment. This is definitely a new, new edition. Actually, I know it's from this year, but I, it's not the, the one that was on the image on Amazon. Um, but that's just good because this one looks very nice. This edition. Have not seen it yet, but it's supposed to be one of those comedy greats. You know the cl classic. One of the best classic comedies um, with Jack Lemon. So, um, looking forward to that one. And then Executions, which uh, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna talk that much about it. I could talk way more about it, but I thought it was gonna be um, just, just, ex just a couple of executions to show people how they work and. I don't know, just, I don't know, but it, it's, it's a, a kind of more of a docu actual documentary sort of to, awareness documentary to, to show you the deal with the execution thing. It's from 1995, so maybe it's not exactly that valid anymore, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure, but either way it's, um, I didn't like it, but anyway. Uh, then we got Red Room, uh, which I had heard it was supposed to be absolutely fucking disgusting. Um, but I didn't really think it was absolutely fucking disgusting. I just thought it was vaguely gross. Um, and also, on top of that, it's one of the absolute crappiest movies I've ever witnessed in my whole life. So, uh, I mean, I don't regret buying it because I never do even though I hate it because I would have still been interested in seeing it if I wouldn't have bought it so I mean why regret it um, this is actually the first movie that I the D, first DVD I have with this thing on top here and I've always seen those in people's videos and I wondered to myself like why the hell don't they take them off because they look ugly so I proceeded to do that and then I noticed that it came off of the artwork so I won't be doing that anymore with any other DVDs with that thing I might get. Might get. Uh, so that's everything. Uh, I also have um, this thing to show you, which I don't know what this is, uh, but I know I have ordered a bunch of stuff. So let's see which one this is. film collection with My Best Friend is a Vampire, Repossessed, Slaughter High and Silent Night, Deadly Night 3. I only got this for Repossessed because this whole thing was just as cheap as Repossessed alone, which would be about three pounds, excluding shipping. Um, so of course I'll, I'll get this, because My Best Friend is a Vampire looks, looks pretty entertaining and Slaughter High that title definitely rings a bell, so I might check that out. Silent Night, Little Night 3, I haven't seen the other ones, so I'll prob probably be um, be seeing that one whenever I have got on the first two, which I don't know when that's going to be. But as I said, I got a free possessed, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Um, yeah. My best friend is a vampire is rated PG, so maybe it's not really a horror movie, I don't know. Um, but yeah, 
And I suppose I could talk a little bit about a couple other Christmas gifts I got. Uh, I got two books here. got part two of Peter James Roy Gray's series. This one is called Looking Good Dead, I think. Haven't started this yet, but uh, I got it for Christmas. Um, and then I got this one, which I'm... This... this I read this much. Um, Terry Pratchett's Thud. I wanted, I said that I wanted the first um, in Swedish <laughs> and I got the 34th in English. But first of all, I don't think that it's possible that they're not available in Swedish. I think they are translated, at least the first ones, but maybe they're really hard to get or maybe they aren't even translated. Uh, but um, you don't have to read them in order, um, so I um, I enjoy I'm en I am enjoying this, uh, but I have ordered the first one because after this I'm gonna wanna read them in order, because um, you don't as I said you don't have to read them read them in order, but you do gain some pieces bits and pieces of entertainment and. Um, understanding of the characters and different terms and everything I, I would assume because there are some words terms and stuff which are mentioned here which are not previously or prior to that explained in the book so I'm assuming maybe they go through them in previous books um, this is um, I might not have mentioned it it's uh, part of the Discworld series and in the Discworld series there are 39 books, I think, the latest one from this year. And um, yeah, they're, they're just books uh, taking place on this weird uh, disc-shaped planet uh, positioned on four large elephants who are standing on the back of a turtle floating in space. So that's, that's Discworld for you. Um, and um, there are different stories and about different characters and species on this disc world, and this is about the n the watch, the p sort of night night watch, whatever the police of this of the disc world of Ankh Pork, which maybe is, I suppose is a city on this world, maybe. Uh, but this is not the first one about the the watch, so. Um, um, I think I'm I'm missing out on some things, but anyway, um, I've ordered the first one as I said. So yeah, um, the English is I mean I some stuff go over my head and I have to look up words now and then or all the time actually, but um, I still like I I get most of it. I mean it's just details I don't understand. It's not big plot holes for me or anything, but. Um, Anyway, um, I also got that rug right there <laughs> because I wanted that to put in front of my TV. So when I push the DVDs around to like choose what watch what to watch next, they they won't um, scrape against the floor or maybe scrape is the wrong word, but they won't um, get damaged. Um, what else did I get? Well, I got cash, and I got an iPod Shuffle, very, very small. I didn't actually think of this when I got it, but it has no display. But iPod Shuffle, maybe that means that it just chooses a song on random all the time. Um, which I probably should know whether, whether that's the case or not, but I don't. But I think it might be like that, but I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Ow. <laughs> Not very comfortable to sit here on the floor. Uh, anyway, so I guess that is all. Um, yeah. Uh, I will make another video soon. I am, as I said, expecting a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of Blu-rays um, that I've ordered. Uh, and also DVDs and um, some pretty cool stuff. So I will save some packages up in a pile and 
make a video when I have enough of them. Uh, which I said, as I said, will hopefully be next week. Um, and I, I just, I can just mention that these things here I've already so, already shown you in pri previous updates. Um, if you don't remember. So, uh, that's all. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching.